Uh, Alright, hey again guys, today I'm going to be showing you the Fruity uh, Free Filter. Fruity, yeah, Fruity Free Filter. FFF. Um, if you don't know what a filter does, I can tell you in like musical terms myself. It's just the frequency of the sound, but you know, I can't even tell you what that means because, yeah. Uh, I could just let you listen to it first and see if you like it, what it does. Uh, it's more popular in techno songs, so if you're interested in hip-hop beats, probably not going to help you too much, but you can see I changed the filter up. You'll see. You can see what I mean. Okay, uh... No, this is not my, like, beat. I got this off a YouTube video, so I can show you guys the filter. Because I thought it demonstrated it very nicely. Um, and for that little eh at the end, that was, like, another sound coming in. Like, don't worry about that last part. Like, it didn't change that much. That was just another sound coming in. Uh, now, in order to do this filter, you want to... Well, let's use another sound, because it sounds kind of weird. Let's say you want it on your kicks. I don't see why you want it on your kicks, but click on it, left click on your sound in your uh, uh, step sequencer. This is going to come up, or something similar to this. Either way, it's going to have a little arrow in the upper left corner. Click that, assign free mixer track, fruity free filter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you can click this arrow and you'll get a fruity free filter. And then uh, in this frequency bar, you want to go to right click and go to create automation clip. And it's going to create an automation clip for everything you have in the playlist so far. Uh, if you don't know what the playlist is, it's gotten to by clicking this, this button up here, circling it. But you can also select a part of the song in the playlist, if I'm not mistaken. If you just want the filter, just go right there. Either way, you can just shorten it and you can just create little dots somewhere you want to adjust. This is going to sound really funky. You probably couldn't make that out at all, but it sounded kind of cool from my view. It's like a club kick. I don't know. Weird. Whatever. Um, second thing I'm going to be showing you is for hip-hop users. Whoa. This is how to make a decent sounding piano. It's not great, but, you know, if you don't have anything, download the sounds. Sounds kind of. I've showed you guys this beat before, but this is the exact piano I used to do that. Yeah, in order to do that, you want to go to a right click one of your sounds, go to insert or replace if you like to get rid of it. Go to insert, FL keys. This is going to pop up. Uh, if it doesn't pop up, then just say it's not there. Then you can just. Uh, where are my FL keys? Where? Oh, there they are, keys. Just click it, maybe once or twice, and it should pop up, like right in your face. You want to click this upper left arrow, go down to presets, change it to a default piano, but wait, you're not done yet. Not that easy. Now you're also going to have this thing pop up with it, so you're going to go to that, go to assign for your mixer track, and I'm going to show you my other piano, because I don't even remember what I did. You're going to put a reverb on it by going clicking a uh, blank slot in this down arrow, we get on a fruity reverb. Then when that comes up, you want to use these exact settings, low cut, off, which is all the way down, pre delay, zero, I think it's all the way down, diffusion, zero, all the way down, decay, 0.7 seconds. Doesn't have to be exactly there, guys, but you know, it's around that area. Dry, 53%, high cut, off, room size, 100, color, warmer, high damping, 15.0 kilohertz, I think that's kilohertz. Reverb, 48%, 50% around there, anything. And those are your settings, and then you have this cool sound piano. Whoa, too low, too high. Pretty cool. Pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, and one last thing before I go. I'm sure if you play StarCraft, and you're at least a small Blizzard fan, you know StarCraft 2 beta has been released. Unfortunately, I did not get invited to the beta, so 
anyone has an account I can use to uh, play StarCraft 2 beta. I promise I'll let you on whenever you want to get on. Uh, I'll give you a shout out in my next like two or three videos. Do whatever I can for you to help you out if you can give me StarCraft 2 beta. I know like half my viewers are probably like, what the? Beep! Is StarCraft. Don't worry about it if you don't know what it is. But if you have a StarCraft 2 account that was invited to the beta and you're willing to let me use it, I appreciate it so much. Like, I'd literally find you and give you a hug. Not really, because that'd probably be gay. No offense to gay people. But, uh, and be creepy. I just showed up at your house. But, anyways, the point is if you have a StarCraft 2 beta, or you got a beta key that you don't even want to use, just let me <laughs> play. I'm, like, so desperate to play. I feel like a freaking nerd. But, uh, whatever, it's, it looks like a really great game, I can't wait to try it, but, yeah, if you got that beta key, just please, I'll try to help you out the best I can, and, yeah, I'll let you play whenever you want. Ah, I forgot to stop my videos. Oh, wait, no, I found it.